The harmonic minor is one of the three main minor scales in music. Out of the three different minor scales, it's the natural minor scale, which is generally considered to be the default. A lot of the time, particularly in pop music, when a piece of music is in a minor key, it will use the natural minor scale. The harmonic minor is almost identical to the natural minor, it's only one note different, this note. The leading note of the harmonic minor is raised, it's only one semitone away from the octave. So for example, in G natural minor, the seventh note, the leading note, is F natural. But in G harmonic minor, the leading note is F sharp, it's been raised. And although this may seem like only a small adjustment, it makes a big difference to how the scale sounds. For example, because the 7th note has been raised, it's made this interval here between the 6th and 7th note unusually wide. It's an interval of a minor third, 3 semitones, which is unusually big for a western scale. This gives the upper half of the harmonic minor scale an exotic Arabic-like sound. Bury a Friend by Billie Eilish uses the G harmonic minor scale. You can see here that rather than an F natural, we have an F sharp. What do you want from me? Why don't you run from me? What are you wondering? What do you know? Why aren't you scared of me? Why do you care for me? When we all fall asleep, where do we go? Beyond this F sharp note, this D major chord is also here thanks to the harmonic minor scale. And the D major chord is functional here because it creates a perfect cadence, a resolution from the 5 chord to the 1 chord, the dominant to the tonic. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? The perfect cadence is part of what makes Bury a Friend sound the way it does. And because a perfect cadence requires the major version of the 5th chord, the D major in this case, in the natural minor, we can't have a perfect cadence, because the fifth chord of the natural minor is a minor chord. The big benefit of the harmonic minor scale is that we can use it to write functional harmony. That's why we call it the harmonic minor scale. In case you're unfamiliar with the concept of functional harmony, Put simply, it's when each chord in a progression has a function. So in Bury a Friend, the one chord, the G minor, has what we call tonic function. Tonic function is when the chord is fully at rest and resolved. There is no tension. What do you want from me? The next chord, the C minor, is the fourth chord in the key and has what's called subdominant function. Why don't you run from me? Chords with subdominant function introduce some tension because they want to resolve onto a dominant chord. And in Bury a Friend, that's exactly what happens. We move from C minor, the subdominant chord, to D, the dominant chord. What are you wondering? Dominant function is begging to resolve back to the tonic. When we're on the D chord, our ears really want to resolve back onto the tonic chord, onto the G minor. Why do you know? So when you really boil it down, functional harmony is just about how much tension is in each type of chord. The tonic chord has no tension, the subdominant has some tension, and the dominant has lots of tension. Many other pop songs use the harmonic minor in a similar way to Bury a Friend. I think I did it again I made you believe We're more than just friends Havana, oh na na Half of my heart is in Havana, oh na na I travel the world and the seven seas
Bury a Friend isn't even the only song that Billie Eilish uses the harmonic minor in. She actually uses the exact same chord progression in her song Bad Guy. All of these songs use the harmonic minor to create neat, functional chord progressions in the minor key. Of course, when you're writing a song, you don't have to limit yourself to just one scale. We don't have to stay in harmonic minor for the whole thing. A song could just as easily blend the harmonic minor with the natural minor. This is one of the best things about the minor key. You can switch between different versions of the scale to get different flavours. A good example of this is Girl by the Beatles. Girl switches back and forth between the harmonic and the natural minor scale. The song starts out in harmonic minor, as we can see from this nice perfect cadence. Is there anybody going to listen to? We then go natural minor, harmonic minor, natural minor, harmonic minor, creating a real blend of the two different scales. Is there anybody going to listen to my story? All about the girl who came to stay. She's the kind of girl. For many listeners, the sound of the harmonic minor scale evokes a classical or baroque sound. The harmonic minor scale was a common choice in pre-romantic classical music, for example Bach's famous Toccata and Fugue in D minor. The intro of Plug-In Baby by Muse also uses the harmonic minor scale, and this is what gives this intro that Bach-like, classical-like sound. The last example of harmonic minor that we'll look at today is 2 plus 2 equals 5 by Radiohead. The raised 7th, the harmonic minor note, is a key part of 2 plus 2 equals 5 sound. It appears repeatedly in the vocal melody and the harmony. The harmonic minor scale is an integral part of what gives this song its sound. And a big thank you goes to everybody who supports me on Patreon, including Adam Granger, Andre Sainz Diaja, Andrew Brown, Andy Deacon, Austin Barrett, Bob McKinstry, Brittany Parker, Bruce Mount, Chris Cabell, Kieran Bennon, Daniel Long, Darren Harvey, David Defenderfer, Dr. Darren Wicks, Eleanor Skorchenko, S. Ben Hansen, Eugene Leroy, Eyes, F. D. Hodor, Golf House, Graham Beards, Gil Lamola Toner, James Ko, J. A. Cockensparker, Joe Vasson, Jonas Soderstrom, Jonathan Banks, Justin Vigor, Lavender Mint Rose, Meg Fellows, Melody Composer Squared, Michael Vivian, Nancy Gillard, Nicholas, Orlando Bernard, Pablo Ocampo, Paul Muller, Paul Pazel, Peter Dunthy, Roger Clay, Snitzelcraft, Steve Daly, Thomas Armstrong, Tim Beaker, Timothy Payne, Toot, Vidad Flowers, Vladimir Kotakov, and Walkis Pacheco. 